Hey, what's going on guys? It's Slider Havoc here, and we are starting a brand new modded Minecraft series. Uh, well, new to us, but the mod itself is not very new. The mod has actually been around for a while. It is uh, Sky Factory 2. And the uh, reason I chose this one was, well, like I told you at the end of my... Um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, at the end of uh, Revenge of the Sea Team, you know, I always end up playing by myself. Which is kind of boring. Um, and so I thought, if I'm going to play by myself, at least let me grab a mod pack that's designed to play by myself. Where I have to use my uniqueness to uh, get this done. And there's an achievement book, which gives me something to follow. So I think my goal for this is actually just going to be to uh, beat the achievement book. And have a lot of fun at the time. I mean, there is a lot of mods in here that I've never used before. But there are some that I do know, like Ex Nihilo is the first one we're going to start out using and I know this one specifically from Blast Off because this is how you get a lot of materials when there's no materials around so yeah I just gotta get my first sapling there's one and yes and then there also is a mod on here called um, I think it's called Vein Miner or something to that effect which allows you to break all the blocks of one type. And uh, so I'm going to show you that real quick. You have to have something in your hand. You can't do it empty handed. You do have to have something in your hand. But it doesn't have to be the right tool. But if you hold the tilde key. And you just beat down. There you go. Then all of a sudden we uh, break all the wood. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get a platform down. So I save as many of these leaves as possible. Do do do, because I don't want to lose them. And if uh, anyone in half slabs are because, well, we're in the middle of absolute nowhere, and I don't want stuff spawning on us and getting knocked off into the void. And uh, as long as you do the bottom half slab, mobs don't spawn. So yes, that is why I am doing half slabs on the bottom. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this stuff. I just explain it because, well, it gives me something to talk about while I'm doing this. Because this is kind of a mundane part of uh, playing, you know, Skyblock, stuff like that. It takes a while to get everything started. So, there we go. And now I can use the crook and get these last few. Nothing. 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 All right. Well, I got two slabs, so it's okay. I mean, uh, two uh, saplings. All right, so then the next thing I was told was if you do a little shimmy shimmy dance dance, um, apparently it works like a mild case of bone meal. Um, not More like a watering can effectiveness, but I think it's even less effective than the water can. See, there's the sparkles, like I was bone mealing, and uh, this will help the trees grow faster. So I think what I'm going to do is after this first tree grows so we can see that it actually works, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward, and... Uh, then uh, we'll get to where we can start evolving a little bit of stuff. Because, like I said, the, the beginning of this is going to be very mundane. It's just getting a whole bunch of saplings, uh, making some of the Ex Nihilo uh, buckets, like the oak barrels, putting saplings in there to get dirt so I can make more trees, so I can make more dirt, so I can make more trees. So it's going to be kind of repetitious off the get-go. So uh, this is actually a big tree. Um, I'm going to do this without breaking all... I'm just going to break a couple because I don't want the leaves to spawn because I don't want to lose them. I want to get as many as possible. There we go. And that way I can uh, make my platform a little bit bigger here. Right. Oh, come on. You're just being annoying now. There we go. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna make the platform a little bit bigger right now, and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and start fast forwarding until I get like probably a farm of about nine trees going, and then we'll get started on some of the other stuff that we need to do right off the bat. And as a matter of fact, before I start fast forwarding, I'm gonna go ahead and open the achievement book because if you haven't played this before and you're interested in playing it, it's well worth the time. Hey, see, I just lost a sapling. That's not nice. I'm trying to save all those. So we're going to go through the achievement book and uh, kind of see some of the first few things we can do. And yeah, so I got most of that. So let's go ahead and bust this bad boy out. See, I just lost another sapling. Ooh, apples. Apples. Ooh, look at that. Ten saplings. Ooh, there's more over here. I think it's up in the tree, though. Yeah, it's like way up there. 
All right. Um. There we go. And I should be able to get the wood now. Oh wait, hold on. Put something in my hand. There we go. And I should be able to crook. Oh, I used up both my crooks. All right. And that's the one nice thing is I forget what mod does it, but um. Uh, hold on, let me take back half of these. Um, there is a mod out there that uh, like auto fills your. Um, man, I'm, English is tough. Sorry, guys, I am sick right now, um, and so my brain isn't thinking at a hundred, you know, full speed right now. But uh, there's a mod out there in the pack that. Um, <laughs> like automatically makes your items drop. Okay, I'm just not going to be able to get those. But it's okay, because I've got 27 saplings. So, um, Anyways, we're going to go ahead and plant this tree real quick, and then we're going to take a look at the achievement book and see if we've done anything so far. So, basically, uh, welcome to Sky Factory 2. Oh, I did not know that. Bacon Donut did this one. I've I've seen like his live streams on Twitch a couple times. Um, he's just a fun-loving guy. Like He's a really lovable dude. Uh, check him out. I don't know. That's all I can really say. Uh, use a crook on leaves to get saplings and a silkworm. I have a silkworm right there. Yeah, so I got that. Make dirt by uh, composting saplings in an oak barrel. I guess we can make an oak barrel while that tree's building real quick. And it's been a while since I played. Yes, that's how you do it. All right, so we'll go ahead and just put this barrel right here for right now. And I think it's like 10 of these. Eight. Okay, cool. So we're going to get some dirt going. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just fast forward from this point, and uh, then we'll pick back up when I get a little more stuff. All right, we'll be right back. And while we're watching over this, I just want to talk about a couple things <clears throat> when it comes to the series, guys. Uh, once again, I do want to apologize. I'm, I'm just listening to my voice right now, and it's really bothering me. I do hate recording while I'm under the weather, but at the same time, it's been so long since I put up uh, any type of like quality content, and I have gotten quite a few messages from a lot of you guys that I want to make sure I got some stuff starting to get put out. Um, and, you know, hopefully I can bat this cold pretty quickly, and then everything will be back to normal. But, uh, yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to this whole uh, Skyblox thing, and it's uh, I think it's a good time to talk about it while we're fast-forwarding right now. Because it's a really cool little mod pack with a lot of mods. And there's a lot of mods in here that I've never used. And that's probably the most exciting part for me. Is being able to get my hands on a mod that I've never used before. And try to see what I can do with it. It also gives me the opportunity to push my abilities to um, kind of think outside the box. When it comes to like, you know, automating systems and stuff like that. And uh, trying to, you know, produce things at a, like, you know, high level. And try to just make it interesting without other people playing. Um, I've said it a couple times now and you know it does get boring when I'm just by myself on the mods or on the mod packs and so having one that's kind of designed to uh, be a hermit is actually really cool because it just gives me more to kind of think about so uh, with all that being said um, I've already got a lot done here so I'm probably gonna go ahead and cut this here and then we'll go ahead and pick up live All right, so we are back, and now I think it's about time to get going on some of the stuff. We've got quite a bit of wood. Um, I separated this tree over here for a reason, because I want this one to hurry up and grow up, because what I'm going to do is throw one of the a couple of these silkworms into the tree, and hopefully we will get infested leaves, and then, then we can get some string, and uh, yeah, get uh, our sieve, which is the next thing we need for X Nihilo. And... Uh, if you don't know uh, what I'm talking about, if you put nine string in a crafting table, fill all nine spots or whatever, you get uh, what's called like silky web or something like that. And you need two of those to make a sieve, which is what you put the dirt in to start getting other materials. Like you start getting um, uh, metals or, oh, stone, sorry. In dirt you get stone and a couple other items, or we can make a stone hammer and break the cobblestone. Well, stone gets crafted into cobblestone and then cobblestone can get broken down into gravel. Gravel can get broken down into sand, or, and I believe sand breaks down into dust. And all these items sieve differently, and uh, they give you different items. So that's what we're trying to do right now is get the sieve. And I, that might be about it for this episode because it's already going to get pretty long for the most part. And, uh, you know, we don't want it to 
you know, get too long of episodes. Try to keep them around 20 minutes. It's hard to tell when I'm, you know, fast forwarding through some of this. I don't know exactly how long it's going to be, but that's my goal is to keep the episodes about 20 to 30 minutes. And uh, I'm going to try to make this a daily series. So I'm going to try to get as many episodes out as possible. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to be going by this achievement book right here. So getting as much done as I can through the achievement book. Uh, made dirt, got that, and we're about to infest. Use cook on infested leaves, which we're about to do. Um, I don't see, I don't want to do those because I don't want them to have like another tree pop up and have it start infesting the leaves on the trees next to it. So I'm just going to leave those alone for a second and try to get this guy to pop up real quick so I can start infesting it. So that, that would be really close and there's a tree in the middle right there. So if another tree pops, it would bind them all and then all of a sudden the infest, infested leaves would start spreading across, which is not what I want to have happen. And this one actually might be really close to this tree right here, so... I might, is it bonded? Yeah, see it is. So I'm going to break this down real quick so I can separate these leaves. I should just use the crook and not use the vein miner. I don't want to lose potential leaves here. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and break this guy down, and uh, we just won't replant him right now. That way... Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull all all of these up because I don't want to take a chance to infest them all. I mean, not that it's a major deal. I always store uh, one sapling inside the chest. That way I know I'll never run out of saplings. But, you know, who knows what's going to happen. All right, so we're going to start infesting this guy here like that. And that should go pretty quickly. And while that's going, I guess I can break these guys down. And replant here. There we go. As you can see, the leaves are starting to turn white. And it says infested 20%. Over here, it's infested 25. And they start to spread. I don't know if they spread once they get to 100% or if they just start to spread naturally. But we're, we're letting them just kind of do their own thing. Because we need that string. And also, we'll be able to make ourselves a bed. Not that a bed is really all that important right now. Uh, reason being is we're the only uh, objects in the sky. So if I were to die, I would just spawn back here anyway. So, yeah, not a big concern there. And let's see. So we're going to go ahead and let that go real quick and keep doing these guys over here. Oh, you know what? Oops. Let's see. Empty. Let's go get some more dirt because I want to start sieving some dirt as soon as I can make the sieve. And we'll go back to this. So, yeah. Um, if you guys know anything about uh, the Sky Factory, please, like, you know, let me know about tips and tricks because I am. this is 100% self-taught as I go. I mean, I play a lot of mod modded Minecraft, so... Sorry, I guess that's sick. A lot of ice water. Um, I play a lot of modded Minecraft, so I know how a lot of these mods work. But there's still a lot of stuff I don't know about. I'm sure there's mods that I don't even know are in this pack. Uh, there's some in the pack that I saw that I don't even know how will work. So that'll be very curious to me. Like uh, Thomcraft is in here, which is an amazing mod, absolutely amazing mod. But there's a lot of stuff I have questions about, like. Um, those little floating orby things, I don't know what they're called, um, that you get the, the magical essence stuff from, like, where do you get that from? That's like one of the questions I have. Um, oh, well you grew quickly. And, uh, yeah, there's one in here called, like, Dartcraft or something like that. Um, I know nothing about that, I've never heard of the mod before. So, that one's a very curious one to me. Um, there's a couple I saw. Uh, Witchery is in here, which is really, really interesting. But uh, I know I can start a mob farm actually pretty quickly. I might, while we're waiting for that, I might start on a mob farm. Because getting a mob farm going is not very difficult. And getting drops from the mobs, like bones from the skeletons and stuff like that, could be very, very useful right now. All right, we're going to make this bad boy four wide. Actually, you know what? We're going to make it two wide, and then it's going to be up like that. That way, um, I can put some fences up and kind of protect myself. 
Um, if I remember, Mob Farms have to be like 25 blocks away, something like that, 20 or 25. So we'll go 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we'll say it's 20. And then I'm going to need a couple spaces to walk on. The mob farm itself is going to be four wide. Two where the mobs walk and two for the overhangs. And then another two spaces and then the spot for the fence. So that should be good right there, lengthwise. And, oh, hey, hey, hey. Quit the nonsense. Hey, get off this block. Get off this block. Um, yeah, hopefully I can get the mob farm going. I don't think it should be a problem, but you never know, right? And there we go. And then I'll put some safety rails so this is all safe going out there. And I think I'll probably, yeah, that'll probably be it. Was I'll just get the silk, uh, start sieving, and then uh, get the mob farm going. All right. And all this is going to eventually change because this has carpenter's blocks and it has uh, chisels. So we'll have a whole bunch of decorative stuff as well. Hold on, let me go out here real quick. So this is the outside edge right here. Two walking spaces right here. And then... this will be the start of the platform that they they walk on that's still half a block high yes and then they'll actually walk there there we go right yes okay and need more here I don't think I'm gonna make this one too big maybe about eight blocks long four on one side four on the other uh, let's see, one, two, I went a little far with that, but it's okay, there we go. So let's make the whole platform here. God, working in the void is so scary. So scary, because you're just looking down at nothing. Like, it's just intimidating as heck. There's nothing there. All right, and two, three, four. Okay, so that's gonna be the whole length of the mob farm on this side. I like to do all my stuff universal. Usually, and it's really funny, usually I like to do odd numbers, but for whatever reason, I just went with even numbers for this one. I don't know why. All right, and then I'm gonna need two spaces on this side. Yes. And then the walk around. Hey. Hate when I misplace blocks. It's really annoying. All right, and getting some cobblestone soon would be really good, so I can make some torches and not feel completely vulnerable out here. Because I know there's a chance that mobs are actually spawning over by my trees right now, which is a scary, scary thought. Because I don't have any protection over there. And I don't want to fall victim to them. I don't want to be falling off already. Not in the first episode, right? All right. So that's two, three, four for the farm. Walking space and Just like that. Okay. Alright, so that's eight across now. That should be pretty good. My puppy is just going crazy over here. I don't know why. Alright. So I guess I, I know I'm getting quiet right now. 
Um, a lot of it is it's late at night, and also, like I said, I am really not feeling well. Um, I am uh, came down with something. I don't know what. It was sore throat and stuff. And I mean, you can hear it in my voice, and it just doesn't uh, sound good. But I really wanted to get some more material up. I mean, I took a long break after, you know, with my surgery and... Uh, also with my uh, school and stuff like that and I just want to get back to it there we go all right there we go platforms done and I'm gonna go ahead and take this block out because I want to put in a crafting table over here so I don't have to go back and forth. So we'll put that guy in here. And I guess we'll just put these here because it doesn't really matter. So I can put that there. There we go. And we'll make up some fences real quick. Just to make this area a little bit safer. Make sure there's no mobs over there. Okay. And fences, here we go. Make it nice and safe around here. And then I'll be able to put some torches up so I'll keep the area lit. Okay, not enough fences. <coughs> Still won't have enough fence, but I'm getting closer. And then we'll finish putting up the mob farm and get this thing rock and rolling. Uh, let's see. Do I have any more wood? Yes, I do. Plenty more sticks. All right, and then might as well get going to this. Okay, so that's the platform there. And then, do I have two on this side and one on this side? No, I got two and two. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this like that. Uh, I'm going to need a walking. So there we go. All right. This is going to be my empty space. So I need you guys to be right here. This just keeps them contained. If you've never made a, uh, a mob farm, by the way, this is 100% vanilla technique uh, techniques. This isn't anything uh, super special. Like, this isn't modded or anything like that. This is just the nature of the, the game meta and how it works. I don't know if meta is the right term there, but yeah. It's how the game works, as long as you keep stuff spaced out and whatnot. Um... There we go. All right. So this has got to be right now. It's what well, one and a half tall. It's got to be two tall. So mobbies can actually go in there. And I am out of wood. So I gotta go get some more wood. So mobs might actually spawn over here while I'm running over here. Let's see if I can get some silk while I'm at it. How much string did I get? Ooh, 26. Cool. I've got enough to make a sieve. So we'll make the sieve real quick. Um, do I have no trees grown? Ha. I have more. Oh, but I have this wood right here. Do, do, do. So we'll get the sieve. Get a little bit of stone. And uh, we will call it a day. I'm afraid to go over there now because they're going to try to kill me. Alright, so the sieve, if I remember correctly, is pretty simple. It's uh, two here. Oh, wait, I got to make the silky stuff. Do, 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 do. Cool, got two of those. And. Oh, not quite enough to make a bed. That's okay. So it goes like that like that and like that yes and we get the sieve 
Oh, yes, mobs have already started to spawn over there. Darn it. I really didn't want that to happen. Um, <laughs> but they're going to spawn in that way, so they still can't quite get out, so it's okay. I don't think I left any surfaces that they could get out of. There we go. And let's go ahead and sieve up some dirt and get some stone. There's three pieces of stone. Ooh, there's four pieces of stone and some seeds of some sort. More seeds, more stone. Cool. I like getting stuff. More seeds, more stone. More stone. Um, I don't know. Will there be enough to make a furnace so I can go make some torches? Five pieces of cobble is not enough. I need one more piece of cobble. I got melon seeds and grass seeds. Okay, cool. Um, well, the nice thing is as soon as the sun comes up, the skeletons will burn. So I don't have to worry about that too much. So that's cool. And, ooh, I might get some bones. I'll get some bone meal. So we'll go ahead and try to get these guys to grow real quick. I can actually plant these three again. I got enough string for the moment. And maybe we can watch these skeletons burn over there. Burn, skeletons, burn. Well, hopefully some of these trees grow. That one's sparking. That one seems to grow faster than the rest. It's the one that's been growing fastest. There we go. And... Stay on the edge here. Try to catch whatever falls. Yeah, there we go. And... Get all this wood. There we go. And a little more dirt. All right. Oh, this tree grew already. And I need some more of these guys. There we go. I think I should have just about enough wood to finish it think. I hate when weird stuff like that happens. Let's see. There's all of that. And yeah, that should be enough. Alright, they're all burnt. Let us see. Hey! I got some arrows, some bones, and some other stuff. What is this? Um, uh, mini seal. I don't know what that is, but whatever. All right. So let's go ahead and. Huh. Can I do this? There we go. All right. So that's one, two, three. Okay. So this is the level at which they walk. So that's all the room I need for them. So the only thing I won't be able to spawn right now is spiders, and I don't believe I'll be able to spawn an enderman because it's not three high. But I'm okay with that. Like that's no big deal for right now. I will eventually get ender pearls. Not a problem. And let's see. Let's put a key real quick. And I believe I have to cap you off so you guys... Yeah, that's, this is the level that needs to... Yeah, okay. Make sure they don't start spawning on top. Alright. Yep, and as you see, it's all red X's inside. So this has been built properly. Yeah, it's really weird, <coughs> because even though you do have, um, like, an opening here, uh, for some reason, the top block considers it to be, like, a full block, so it's, like, it's blocked out, so I could have my area to, like, swing at them and stuff, so. I'm not sure how that all works, but, yeah. I know it does work, I just don't know how. Alright, cool. So the spawner is done. And now I can just go ahead and build the rest of this. Do I have any more fence? A little bit of fence on me. Alright. 
Oh, no, I got plenty of sticks right there for right now. Bloop. 18. Well, I'm going to need more than 18. Yes. So we'll go ahead and do... Yeah, let's... It's going to be like 16 of them. No, nope, that'll be another 12 of them. That should be enough. Woo, cave noises. All right. Well, that's a good sign. Because I think cave noises means that monsters can spawn, which we've already seen them spawn, so we know we're good there. We've already collected the spoils. We've got three bones right there, which is giving us uh, some bone meal to start with. Let's put this down by that. There we go. And we should be good here. Alright. And I think in between this episode and next episode, I'm just going to enclose this area I'm working in to keep it a little safer. And we should be good to go. Now I've got some bone meal too, so I can... Uh, rock a little of the, or I have bones now, so I can rock a little bone meal. Alright, so that's all enclosed. I don't have to round. Mobs are already spawning. Awesome. So I think that's a pretty productive first episode. I, I'm, I'm okay with our uh, progress thus far. So in between uh, this episode and next episode, I'm going to get a lot more dirt and get sieving on a lot more stuff. Uh, probably get another couple rows of trees and uh, then we'll get going on more of the achievements let's see uh, and yet yeah, did that got string did that uh, craft a sieve did that collect rainwater haven't done that yet uh, craft cobblestone did I did I craft yes I did craft some cobblestone um, and then yeah so we can start start sieving more stuff in the next episode or I can actually do that now go ahead and do that now um let's craft up a hammer if i remember correctly it's like this yes and oh more seeds okay and let's go ahead and break these into gravel because this is where we start to get our metals from and i want to start getting those as fast as possible too so we'll go ahead and sieve out some gravel real quick and I would do one sand and one dust, but I just don't really care. For the achievement-wise, you know, we'll get it eventually, so. Alright, so what did I get? I got um, some iron ore, some aluminum ore. Um, yeah, so it's a good start. I think that's a pretty good start. More dirt there, and yeah. So I think this is a good place to stop. Um, in the meantime, I will be... Uh, making this area a little bit safer and uh, expanding a little bit. So until next time, guys, I am Slatter Havoc, and hopefully I don't sound like complete poop next time, but you never know. So, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.